general partner on the team at HP Tech Ventures. We are the investment arm at HP Inc. Uh, about five years ago, HP broke into these two $50 billion companies. One went off, became Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Green Square is their logo. They're in the cloud, they do servers, software, that sort of stuff. And then HP Inc, where I work, we're kind of the physical manifestation of computing. We make the laptops and displays and computers, all those things you see at Costco, all those printers and ink and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if, if, you, if you think about our personal systems group, we have three big business units. We have that group that makes the things that you normally see. We have a printing group that has commercial print. That's everything from Indigo and Cytex and commercial printers. And then we have the 3D printing group. They make these massive $150,000 machines that make final parts for BMW and Boeing. And then our group inside of Tech Ventures sits on top of all of that. We are people that look for technology for any of the business units. So we're doing strategic investing. And we also do a lot of partnerships. So we look for things we can white label, OEM, bring in as ingredients, try to find things that HP, if you squinted your eyes, you could see four years from now how we might ship something like that. And if it's strategic to us, then we also do minority investing in these, these companies. So we look for series A level companies. Our check size is like one to $5 million. Uh, it has to be strategically aligned with the business unit, which means that we have to do a lot of stakeholder blessing People inside the business units have to look at what we're doing and saying, yeah, we, we see how that can help us. And then we invest for you know, financial return. And we also invest to learn and help our businesses move into the next thing. As I said, so you can see like four years from now, you can squint your eyes and see how HP might be shipping that thing. Uh, our hunt list, you know, the, the strategic priorities that we're looking for, we have a big interest in e-gaming and sports. We have a big Omen division, so things that help with that. We, we're interested in AR and VR. You know, we make those headsets in that particular area in our workstation business. In the artificial intelligence area, we look at things like the, the special, special processors that are designed to do inference at the edge. We don't look at the server in the cloud, but we're looking at inferencing engines that are very, very low power. Maybe they can fit in a laptop. The models that sit on top, as well as some of the vertical markets that might run on some of this particular kind of hardware and modeling. Everything from home. You know, think about all the friction that we've discovered in the last year. All these different things from home, the, we, we know that now the audio and the video really could be a lot better than what came on your laptop two years ago. There's all kinds of new collaboration tools that we really need because what we've had, we found is not sufficient. So what can HP do in the collaboration area for hybrid teams? Some may be inside in the future and then everybody's working from Zoom. How can, we improve, uh, how can we improve cloud storage? What can we do about the network transport layer? If you're using Zoom, you know, is there anything else that you're using your Wi-Fi on? Maybe we can aggregate all the Wi-Fi so your Zoom is better while you're on that call with a video running. We're also interested in things like the replenishment. We can certainly replenish your inkjet cartridges. We're not going to deliver you pizzas, but there's plenty of things that people would like to deliver and replenish that are not on a schedule, just on a calendar. But when you've used something up, we could be notified and send something to you, and maybe we can be helpful with that. Uh, we care a lot about cybersecurity at the edge. You know, what could I do to my laptop that would be either in the ROM or in the kernel or in the operating system or at the browser level or at the network transport layer? What can we do to make our machines more safe, secure? private that will be better than our competitors, but not 30% slower than them. You know, I would like to do things for maybe 10 guys in a legal office who are not going to have a policy manager, and they're not going to have someone looking at dashboards. We want, what can we find for those guys who would do some really good? So small, medium business security is important. Uh, I mentioned a little bit earlier, some of the 3D printing things. So this whole advanced manufacturing area is very interesting to us. It's a voxel-based approach. Voxels are basically pixels with depth. So we need new kinds of tools, new kinds of workflow, security within that, generative design, things that help with the fog and edge computing for those kinds of operations. Again, there's a whole cybersecurity area and advanced manufacturing that we care about, uh, vertical map applications that have to do with print, uh, things of packaging and textile. And then a nascent area for us is in the area of life science and microfluidics. If you think about what an inkjet cartridge is, it's really a tiny little microfluidics engine that's squirting tiny picoliters of ink through very, very tiny holes. Well, we could do that with reagents and cells and plasma. So what kind of things could we do in the diagnostic area with microfluidics and our 30 years of IP that companies can build vertical market applications on top of. So that, that is the box that our team lives in. We've had five partners on the team. All of us know a little bit about everything and then some of us go into very big depth. So we're experts in that particular area. So HP Labs is thinking 
maybe 10 years out. You're looking at the next thing that might grow into a business for HP that's all internally generated. You know, I mentioned the microfluidics and having 30 years of IP. A lot of that work, the many, many different generations of print head cartridges from thermal inkjet comes from that HP Labs team and the things that they think up or what's going on. So they're looking for what are the next things that HP needs to know. They do a lot of research, a lot of white paper writing, a lot of patent filing. And they're the people that found some of the biggest businesses for HP in the past. They also look to us and say, okay, what's going on in the venture capital world? What are the venture capital people funding? Are we missing something we should be working on that VCs are working on that we should be working on internally? So they, they look at inside, outside and trying to figure out how they can bring ideas in, how those ideas maybe can be spun out and be used by others.